So the reason that I make these videos is because I want you guys to actually be able to see what real tennis progress should look like. It shouldn't take years to learn this sport. Um, you can learn this sport in literally as fast as six, 60 hours to 120 hours, which means if you clock in the practices, you practice like three to six times a week, um, you would be done with tennis in like one to three months. So it shouldn't take years to learn. Um, this is all skill-based, not talent. You check all the boxes. Trust me, you don't need natural talent or coordination or to learn this sport. Check out my Instagram down in the lower left corner for more details about my program. All right, first thing we're gonna work on is the forehand, come to the service line. I don't wanna uh, touch footwork yet. So the big thing that I was seeing in the last video that was persisting with the forehand is that you're finishing closed on every single one. And what's most important is that when we swing the forehand, we're turning the wrist all the way and finishing either vertical or horizontal. Horizontal is better, right? The more you turn the wrist, the more spin you're gonna get. And that's what we want, okay? All right, get your forehand right position. Top swing group of 80 degrees, good. All right, we're gonna hit a lot of these. All right, here we go. Very soft, good. Full wrist turn, okay? Softer, softer, soft and high. Okay. Beginner, there's two ways we can get the ball over the net. Hard and low or high and soft. Everything should be high and soft. Okay. Even if you're super athletic, even if you can crush the ball, that comes later. When you can do high and soft, then we can go low and hard. Okay. And believe me, I want you to get to that level very fast. Okay. Very easy, very relaxed, fluid swing. Drop the arm all the way. <clears throat> what a lot of people do is they try to get like right behind the ball, but you always start from underneath it, even if it's by a loop, but that arm has to drop all the way. your racket okay all right because the expectation here back up is that we want everything to be like that every single one about three to four feet over the net okay three to four feet over the net right all right here we go all right <laughs> that's in the net on a bit of directional control so you have an idea of where the ball is actually going to go so I told you that every single stroke has a unique moment of impact you're always gonna hit the forehand like right here that's kind of half true the truth is that you're gonna have a different timing for where you want the ball to go okay so if I want the ball to go straight ahead normal moment of impact if I want the ball to go to the left I'm gonna take it a little bit earlier right so my strings are facing to the left make sense and if I want it to go to the right I'm going to hit it a little back here so my strings are facing to the right okay now if we look at the ball right going straight ahead I want to hit the ball underneath and behind going to the left I want to hit the ball underneath and from the back right if I want the ball to go to the right underneath from the back left okay so the so now you understand how to control direction but the question is how do we actually set that up every single stroke has something called um, a directional indicator component which means it, basically a component that tells you where the direction of the ball is actually gonna go. So I told you that the signature racket orientation of preparation is that the strings have to be facing back, okay? The ball's gonna go the opposite direction of where your strings are facing. If my strings are facing directly back, the ball's gonna go forwards. If my strings are facing back to the right, the ball's gonna go to the left. If my strings are facing back to the right, the ball's gonna go, I'm sorry, back to the left, the ball's gonna go to the right, okay? So we're gonna go on the <clears throat> deuce side. I told you like the, this is the deuce side, that's the ad side, right? Well, you already know that. Oh yeah, yeah, you watch tennis. Like, I keep forgetting like which one of my students actually watch tennis because I have some of my students that are really good and they don't watch tennis at all. I don't watch tennis. <laughs> great, great, great. All right. So now you're gonna take it back up behind the service line. 
You're going to take your racket back to the right, and you're going to swing forward to the left. And the reason we warmed up with so many shots was so that your swing stayed straight, okay? All right? Because once you establish a straight swing, then we can actually uh, start controlling direction, okay? All right, back that way. So it's going to be a shorter... It's going to be a shorter preparation, but you're swinging out more here, okay? Short preparation, but you're reaching out in front more, okay? Short preparation, reach out in front. Perfect. Short preparation, reach out in front. There, okay? So those last two, you took the racket right here, very compact. Before, it was all the way back, okay? So it's more compact, but you're reaching out to make up for that um, shorter distance of your take back, okay? Higher. Anytime you're going cross court, or any, any diagonal, it's the longest distance on the court, so you have to increase the height. All right, wrist turn, so going back to the old forehand. Good. Anytime you increase spin as well, you have to increase height, because top spin will make the ball drive down. Good. So I'm always going straight up when I'm turning that wrist all the way. There, perfect. Straight up. It's like the racket's kind of licking the ball, okay? There we go. All right, lesson four, she's already controlling direction, amazing. Excellent. One more. Okay, let's go to the ad side. And um, now we're gonna hit it to the right, okay? So your arm has to be to the back left. What helps set that up is going to what's called half or semi-open stance. It's not closed stance where your legs are straight ahead, uh, half open stance is when your half or your open stance is pretty much diagonal. Okay, so my open stance is facing where I want the ball to go. So if I take my racket back straight here and I just change my stance, then that racket goes from straight back to back to the left. Does that make sense? And then I just do my normal forehand like that. Very easy. Okay. Here we go. Go to the middle of the ad side behind the service line. All right. Half open stance. Right foot's going to go slightly back. It barely has a little bit more forwards. Good. Right there. Okay. And this is going to be your longest preparation. So you can reach out in that direction. That's the key. A lot of people miss, uh, mess this one up because they go across way too early. So you want to reach out in that direction. Stay doing that for as long as possible. Here we go. All right. Same thing. It's got to go high. All right. A little bit higher. Three feet at least. Good. And softer, softer. Yeah, we want to try and make it land in the service box. Maybe a little bit past the service line, but not that far. Good, full wrist turn, so the, the racket flips over. More wrist turn. Good. There we go. It's better if you miss it in the alley, um, rather than be too safe and like go to the middle, okay? The more riskier it is, then we start correcting from there, the better. All right. There. Very light. Excellent. Now lighter, lighter. Try to get it close to the service line. Good. So you did something automatically there that I'm actually impressed by. Um, if you want more power, you're going to point your racket forwards more. If you want less power, but it's actually going to give you more spin, your racket's going to come up more. See the difference? Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Especially with the wrist. The wrist is really going to make that happen. Good. All right, good. Let's go all the way back. Let's do our forward. Forehand straight ahead. All right, back up, like, yeah, right there. All right, good. Turn the wrist all the way. More, more, more. There, a little bit more. Good. When you swing, you want to turn that wrist all the way towards you. Better. So you put more spin on it, that's why it went in the net. So notice the sound and feel changes when you add more spin. Okay, and again, more spin, go higher, go higher. 
Hold the wrist longer and go higher. There. Yes. Gallop to the right. All right, more wrist. Turn the wrist, turn the wrist. That's the number one thing for your forehand you have to do. There we go, every single time. Stay. Tommy, stand over here. I need a better front angle of her. Yes, ma'am. This kid is crazy. Here we go, gallop left. All right, wrist, wrist, wrist. That's the number one thing, better. Yes. There we go. Good. Stay. Here we go. We're doing a lot today, Victoria. Okay. Again, think about where that racket is facing back and what that means for where it's going to go when you swing. All right, cross step. Go. All right, higher. Again, when you're moving sideways, you're not shifting your weight forwards as much as when you're still. So you've got to go way higher. Plus, again, you're on the diagonal, so this is a longer distance. Okay? So power's not the issue, it's height. Okay? Because we want to be able to get the ball over without actually trying to hit that hard. If you can get the ball over soft, that means what you're doing is actually correct. Okay? But a lot of players, they try to increase the power, trying to force the ball in rather than using technique. Okay. If you get in light, that's proof that what you're doing is correct. Okay. All right, cross step, go. Here we go. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Gallop left. Again. Recover to the center. Gallop right. Again. Under, under. Go up. Don't focus on power. Heights. Yes. Stay. Good. Four steps. Go. No, no, no. Balance, balance, bounce. You have to stay wide. All right, go. There we go. Two more, and I'm going to teach you something new. Last one. You need to turn the wrists. Two more still. You have to make them. Okay. And same with the preparation, you're looping, turn, push. Okay, but don't rotate the shoulder to prepare the racket. Okay. There, better. And then turn the wrist more. We gotta get it in. There. That's in one more. Okay, that counts. Alright. Next thing I'm gonna teach you, um, when you're too far laterally, okay? Here's what I see a lot of my players do. Uh, they either, usually they either tip over or they lean, they tip the body over, okay? So they do two things that ruin the body's axis, even if your arm is completely correct. As soon as you tilt your body, see this is my moment of impact, tilting my body in any way completely ruins it, okay? So here's the solution instead. Let's say I'm doing four steps to the ball, and I'm still too far, what I'm gonna do is called swing and gallop, okay? Like that. Did we work on that last time? Do we do like that drill where I had you throw the ball? Okay, we're gonna do that again. All right, so no racket. Okay. So, open stance, throw, and slide at the same time. Wide, 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 start wide, good. And then take your arm back. And then when you push off of the right foot to gallop, you're going to start the throw at the same time. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Again. What did you do? Oh, okay. Perfect. 
Okay, it's not, it doesn't have to be a beautiful throw. You just have to time it right. Good. Just two more. Easy technique. Last one. Good. All right, so next thing you're going to do, I'm going to toss the ball to the right. You're going to gallop, swing gallop. Okay? I'm going to toss the ball to the right, and you see this all the time, obviously, because like, you watch tennis, right? You see people, they're like, they do both of those, right? The key is in the delay. The key is in waiting at the last second, okay? First gallop, we don't wait, okay? We stay in position where we're barely off, and then at the same time, okay? A lot of people, they rush it. They gallop too early, okay? All right, the key after the first gallop, wait. Hold the racket back. Yes, okay. You weren't that far off, so you didn't really have to do anything, but you did jump in place, which is good, at the same time that you swung. Okay, go. Perfect. Okay, again. Hold it. Okay. Hold it. Okay, the key is not to get there with the first approach. The key is to get there at the last second with the gallop. So your first approach gets you close, then the swing and gallop gets you the rest of the way. Okay. Okay. At least you're making contact. Oh God. All right. There, better. Now turn the wrist more. It does not have to be hard, especially because you're jumping. You're shifting a lot of weight into the ball when you go aerial, okay? Okay. And the, the important thing here is that you're bringing those feet really close together, okay? You want to keep the feet apart, okay? As I swing and gallop, everything turns to the left. That's also very important. Everything turns to the left. I'm almost I'm sliding this foot while turning my hips. Okay, one more time. Watch, okay? My arms back, like that, okay? All right. Better? Do a couple more of these. And last one. One more, one more. You gotta make the last one. All right, we'll take it. Okay, it's gonna be any of these sideways distances. Do you need a break or anything? Okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything, okay? Because the steps with this footwork is you need to get to the point where you just see it and you know exactly how to move, right? When you're playing, they're not going to tell you where it's going to be. And then in our upcoming practices, all these strips are going to be gone, okay? And you just have to, you just have to move, all right? All of this is going to be open stance. Uh, big picture idea of how forehand footwork works. All of the sideways distances for the forehand are open stance. All of these are closed stance where one foot's in the front. And all of those back ones are half open stance, but then you can go like open or closed again. Is there uh, additional options? Yes, but we're keeping it simple. All these are open steps, okay? All right, we didn't do four steps yet, but I'll toss a couple in there, okay? All right, go. All right, the wrist, the wrist, the wrist. That's the number one thing, okay? Because you're hitting a lot of forehands like this. Okay, you've got to turn that wrist. Better. There, you go up and turn the wrist. Even though the ball's high, waist, even chest height, you have to go up on it. Excellent. That's the best cross step forehand I've seen you hit all practice. There we go, wrapping it around vertical racket. Okay. Higher because you're adding more spin. It's the height, it's not the power. Okay. In the beginning, there's a lot of, there's a little bit of trust that has to be established with spin and knowing that it's actually going to make the ball go in. Okay, a lot of my students, they feel like it's gonna go out, it's not, it's gonna stay in. Good. Wrist is much better now. Consciously focus on that one thing. You're doing everything else beautifully. 
All right. Try that one again. All right. We got to fix it. We got to fix it. There it is. Okay. One more time, double checking it. There it is. Good. Wow. Good. All right, uh, water, quick water, quick water. Even better than last time. Way better. Last time I was exhausted. So. What's with the Patrick Bateman face? <laughs> right. How are your arms? They're good today? You stronger now? I'm paying you to get strong. You're this, gonna, man, this man is wanted for arson in about 14 states. You know I'm not going to cut this. <laughs> including Indiana, Florida, <laughs> Oklahoma, Ohio. This is ridiculous. Beware of this man. He is dangerous. All right, do you want to relax your arms? Yeah, actually, since he's getting water, let's pick up. Grab a basket pick up. Basket's over there. I don't know what you're talking about. What? I never. <laughs> I never visited California. I was there last week. Nothing, nothing. Hurry, go all the way back there. Time is money, Tommy. It's mine. Bro, pick up. Stop getting distracted, Tommy. Picking up and flipping Fiji water balls. I landed sideways. Tommy. <laughs> I've known Manny since elementary school, believe it or not. <laughs> we went to the same elementary school. <laughs> so I've, I've known him for years. We can go to the same middle school, we went to the same high school though. Oh, he's actually in one of my videos. It's called, uh... <laughs> not that one. Uh, it's called He's Already Better Than Djokovic. Yeah, you gotta dig up in my channel to find that. Tennessee University. Yeah, man, Tennessee University. All right, let's go, let's go. You're good. All right, ready? Yep. We're gonna do short forehands now. Find another kid like <laughs> including Oklahoma right. and Ohio. This man is a very that one should be on her. I know. This man is a very dangerous man. Look at him. He has the hair for it and everything. Right. He's a wanted criminal. Wanted for capital right. murder Here as we well. Go. Corner, step gallop. 
always lead and finish with the left foot whenever you're moving forwards with the forehand. Okay? Exactly. Okay? All right, here we go. And turn the wrist, just like you were before. Don't change a thing about that swing. Good. Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, a little bit faster wrist. Okay, not faster swing, but faster wrist. There we go. Okay, try not to fall back. Try to turn your hips forward, back heel lifts, just like that. Perfect. All right, front line, triangle gallop, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I wanna see if you remember. I'm gonna to toss it again. You know this one. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. There. Again, make sure those feet and hips are pointed to the right, good. Okay. Excellent. Good. All right, far front. I don't have a, a strip for it. I lost one, so we're gonna use these cones. But again, the goal cross step forwards, gallop to the side, okay? So this is one of your attacks. Anytime you are pulled this far in, like, I don't want you to crush it now, but just know that this is when you crush it. Crush, finish. <laughs> right. Good throw. That is the last that you're gonna see with some arts, probably. That's fine. Are you going, where are you going? Columbia, California, Utah. Oh shit. Why so many places? Uh, Columbia, I have a wedding, LA, I have work, I go to Arizona for a Super Bowl, and then we talk about me also. Damn. <laughs> Can I have a ticket to the Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, here we go. What am I doing? Uh, you're going to do cross steps forwards and then gallop away from the ball. This is far front, so the ball's very short. Before, you just had to do a triangle gallop. Now you have to come further up, okay? Wow. The key. Don't go diagonal, you have to separate the direction. Straight forward, exactly, okay. All right, go. Good, it's that easy. Okay, start with the cross steps. Don't, don't gallop forwards like that, okay. You wanna stay on the ground, then go to the air. Good, on the ground and then in the air. There, good. All right, that time a little bit diagonal. Go straight, then left. There, perfect. Excellent, turn the wrist. Actually, you know what, because on these, on these ones, since it's high, you get away with hitting it straight. Okay, you don't get away with it back there, though. Okay, you and you also don't get away with it when it's low. All right. There you go. Okay. So it's low like that. When you drops below waist height, I would give it more wrist. There we go. Denise, what time is it? 8.35. 8.35? What happened? No, but you stumbled over the cones. All right, here we go. One more. Cool, all right. Okay, and then far corner, um, cross step, gallop, swing. Okay, you remember this one? We'll see, we'll see, okay. 
All right, go. All right, not bad. Okay. Good. I'm going to explain what you're doing because what you're doing is an alternate version that's actually correct. Just keep going. But this was in our last video as well when I talked about the purpose of the split step. Okay. And one more. Good. So you're doing two things here. First, part one, the cross step. Good. Sometimes you pivot, gallop, swing. Other times you're doing a, a split step, which is really just hopping into open stance. Okay. So earlier I told you that all short forehands are closed stance. That's the primary option. The secondary option is using open stance. Okay. All right, let's go to the backhand side because last time we didn't do any backhands at all. I want to do backhands today. Okay. Exciting. Right. Did you play any? Did you play any tennis? With who? Like you have friends that play, right? How often do you play? Once a week. Oh, awesome. Okay. All, right. <laughs> All right, well you definitely won't lose after my program. All right, okay, let's see the backhand. Let's see where you're at, because I know we worked on it like three lessons ago, but we'll see, we'll see. All right. All right. All right, we're gonna, you have a lot of the basics from what we covered earlier, but the stance, okay? Or we're just gonna go over it again. The ready position is gonna be different, okay? It's gonna be to the right 10 degrees. And then we're actually gonna use closed stance for almost every single backhand. Open stance gives us way more lateral forgiveness and way more directional control. The only place where closed stance succeeds uh, over open stance is that it gives you more power, okay? But because the body can only rotate about 180 degrees, I'd have to, like, I can only go, like, in this direction. I'd have to turn my hips extra, just do more, or land with my closed stance in a particular direction in order to actually have the ball go where I want, okay? In open stance, I can just relax and send the ball to the right, forwards, the left. Now, the reason that we're using closed stance for the backhand because your right arm is now reaching across the left side of the body. When the right arm is reaching across the left side of the body, this is all the length I've got in open stance. When my right arm is all the way over here, this is all the length that I have, okay? So way shorter, we need to extend the length of the swing, go into closed stance, left foot back, right foot in front, okay? The key here, big mistake a lot of people make, they just step forwards, okay? This is my average position. I wanna conserve my average position. I don't wanna change my average position by stepping forward. You step forwards, you spend energy, lose uh, space, and you lose time. Okay? So that was the one thing that was missing. Now to refresh some of the backhand concepts we were talking about earlier, because you are actually swinging correctly. Okay, Backhand's like golf. It's a shove, it's not a swing. What do I mean by that? Forehand, you speed up. Backhand, you set it up, you just go. Okay, Take the arms out, and you bicep curl over the head. Okay, Open chest, open armpit, sharp elbow to the left. No wrists. And uh, yeah, moment of impact is going to be right here. Okay, so it's like going out like golf, then lifting. You start close to the knee, high to the hip, bicep curl, racket should be strings facing forwards to the side, behind your head. Okay. A lot. <laughs> you Quite have a, a lot bit. Of it. Right. The one thing I want you to really think about is just the stance. Okay. Just stay in close stance for these first couple of backhands. Okay. Okay, I want you to freeze at the end. Okay, at the end of your swing, freeze. Stay there. Good. Okay. So that one's better. What you tend to do is flip the wrist back like this. See this L? So you want to keep that straight. And you want to open the chest more and go behind the head. That second part, you have to make it happen. Once you go out here, you have to make this happen. You've got to flex that back muscle. My muscles are hurting. <laughs> Get water. How long were you in the gym? Right, still that wrist flip, okay? Better. Yes, freeze at the end. 
feel it. Okay? Freeze at the end and focus on straightening out that back wrist. Okay? That's much best. Good. Behind the baseline. In the center. Okay. Right. Good. Much better. Yes. Literally, imagine it's a mixed grip bar lift. Okay. You guys, notice how the racket stay horizontal the majority of the back end. Okay. A lot of people, a lot of people are sticking their arms forwards through the back end. You want to keep it sideways. Turning the body is what's making the racket turn forwards, not sticking the arms out. That's all right. Take it in front. Good. Now we're going to transition from open stance to close stance. When you're actually playing, you're not just going to be sitting here in close stance the entire time, just ripping back in. So open stance, then prepare, left foot back, right foot in front, swing, forward, out. Back, forward, swing, forward, out every single time. Okay. All right. Very good. And forward, out. Back to right position. Mr. Arson, I do believe you're a good coach. Thank you, Tommy. I'm the best. Good. Mr. Arson. That's why it's raining. All right, take your time. You're at 90%. You're making most of your shots. Good. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to move to that line to your left. On the forehand side, we would normally gallop to the side. On the backhand side, it's different. We're not actually, we're not actually, do we do this? No, but I'm So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to take three steps. Ready right position? Start with the right foot, go across. Then the left foot, this is called a half step, where it comes right behind the other foot. Okay, so cross steps when you go across, half step is when it comes right beside you, okay? And after we do the half step, we're gonna step out. That's our third step. So we do cross step, half step, and step out. Cross step, half step, and step out. The first two are gonna be fast, the last one's gonna be slow. It's gonna look like this, right? So the ball, all right, back up. Okay, so with an actual ball, like that. Okay, very fast. First two are fast, last step is short, but that's the kind of footwork where you start hearing the feet squeak on the ground. Okay. All right, uh, let's try it. You start a little bit with the left foot, but you corrected it. You went with the right foot. Yeah, you start with the right foot. Okay. You usually have to have people practice this a couple times, but I think you got it. Good. You can take your time, you don't have to be as fast as I was. Okay, need that last step. Because that half step sets up the close stance, and then the final step just makes it wide. Yeah. All right, go up more. That's just the swing. Full work is good. There we go. Strings are kind of like staying down. You want to swing so that it opens up. Okay. Better. And again, we're, we're flipping it over, so we want to lift the ball. There. Ah, oh, still flipping, still flipping. Okay. All right. Change your ready position because you're you're open. You want to be closed. Okay. Good. Okay. Lift it. Lift it. Whenever you add any wrist to the backhand, it adds too much spin and you're losing power, okay? So once you go out, lift, it's all biceps. It's all biceps. Once you shove out, go up, okay? So 
no wrist. It's very vertical. Better. Okay. I want to stress, as long as you're not moving the wrist as you're hitting the ball, it's not important. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, you can technically do whatever after you impact the ball. You don't want to be doing it while you're hitting the ball. That's the important thing. Okay. Your right position still tilted open. Other way. There we go. Okay. Only 10 degrees. So not, not as much as the forehand, it's slight. Okay. All right. You have to stay on the ground. Okay. Okay. You have the time? Okay. I want to try and hit at the end. I want to see what you can do. So one of my other students, David, we've only had like eight lessons and we played like three rounds going to ten last night. And uh, he did pretty good. Did you win? Of course. But he did very good. Because I, I can hit winners. You know? <laughs> but no, I mean, he, he ran down everything. And, like, really stayed in, which is good. Okay? Same thing, focus on the lift. Very good. All right, next distance all the way down, five steps. Okay? So I get this one, like that. So you see how it's kind of the opposite. That was four steps, this is five steps. Okay? And again, anytime you take an odd number of steps, you end up in closed stance again, even number, open stance. Here we go. Just focus on, sorry, just focus on the right foot being in front. Okay, go. Good. All right. On the backhand side, you're gonna do like three times more the work. Okay, because the moment of impact is closer. The fact that the moment of impact is closer and that your right arm reaching across your body forces you to use close stance doubles the reason why you have to move way more on the backhand side. Okay, so if I hit a ball five meters forehand side, five meters backhand side, expect to work more on the backhand side. That's just how it is. All right, higher. There we go. Excellent. Almost done. All right, too much spin. Going over the ball like like this. Okay, you got to keep the arms out. If you collapse the elbows too soon, before you, the arms go straight, you're going to go over the ball instead of under the ball. The arms going straight is what gets the racket face under the ball. Okay, same thing. make this one. Alright, we'll take it. Okay. Alright, it's a lot. So, like, I'm actually over-preparing you. This is way more than you'd actually ever do at any point. Most points are like four to five volts. Okay. Can I put the cameras down, Julius? If he's getting water? Are your arms tired again? No. Huh? No. So she's getting water and I... It's cool. This is uncut, bro. This is raw. All right, then. <laughs> Capital murder. Assault on a minor. What? No, Impersonating no, no, no. a police say that. officer. Okay. <laughs> Arson, obviously. We've covered that. Arson, obviously. Battery. Battery? First degree manslaughter. Among others. Bro, move. Miss. What do you think about Coach Julius' lessons so far? Amazing. Amazing? Yeah. What would you rate his coaching skills out of 10? 12. 12? <laughs> oh, thanks. See that thanks. W Riz? You see that W Riz? <laughs> All right. That charisma okay. is insane. <laughs> it's on me. All right. So this corner, you're going to step and gallop. All right. Same as the forehand side. Anytime, so you're seeing kind of how the forehand and backhand side mirror each other as far as the footwork goes. When you're moving forward on the forehand side, you lead with the left foot. We're moving forward on the backhand side, you lead with the right foot. Okay? So you're going to lead with the right foot, gallop, swing, super easy. Okay? I couldn't have ended up with a funnier cameraman. All right, behind the baseline. That's why, you, that's why I'm here. It's, it's, destiny. it's destiny. He won't shut up about how we're both Virgos.
Virgo game. What was, your, what was your birthday again? Huh? What was your birthday again? The 19th. The 19th? So three days before mine? Yeah. That's crazy. Virgo gang. All right, lock the wrist more. He's still waving that wrist. Again, literally pretend this is a bar. This is not a racket, this is a bar. You would never wrist a bar, right? <laughs> that would hurt, okay? Better. In fact, let me do like two, okay? All right, so I'm up here. Racket staying sideways, okay? Try to focus on that intention more of trying to keep the racket sideways. I think the, the technique is gonna manifest. Okay? All right, go. Much better. Again, the most important thing is you're doing this as you're going through the ball, okay? More arm extension, don't collapse the elbows too soon. Nice, perfect, that finish, there it is, okay? And again, you have to make that happen. The first part of the swing is kind of momentum, but the second part, when you open up, that has to be you. Very good, every single time. The signature racket orientation, most important concept when talking about any stroke. All right, how tired are we from a scale of one to 10? Like, seriously. Like, seriously, we're, okay, no, no, don't, fine, fine, fine. Never That's tired. Good attitude. Never tired. I had a, uh, it would be Julius funny, it would be funny if he watched this video. I had this guy after like 20 balls, he used to be like number one in Belgium when he was 16. Um, after 20 balls, we wouldn't even move. I would toss 20 balls to him and he'd be like, <sighs> like he'd be done. I'm like, how man? But he was really good. He had an amazing one-handed backhand. Julius never gets tired, he gets tired of me. I'll, I'll never get, I'll tolerate you forever, Tommy. Virgo gang. All right, excellent. Are you OCD? I have no clue. <laughs> Undiagnosed, maybe? No, no, no. OCD, like, are you really organized? No! No? <laughs> no. Virgo gang, not virgins, but Virgos. All right, all right, Tommy. All right, go back to the middle. Now we're going to do triangle gallop front. It's the exact same as the forehand, but the other way. I have an organized room, but like that's it. I'm not a very organized person. That first step's got to be diagonal. There we go. Okay. And again, focus on the lift, keeping the racket sideways. All right. Same thing. Elbows bent too early. Stick it. You have to stick it with the arms. There, much better. All right. You got away with it, but a little bit more spacing laterally. Okay. There we go. Okay. Wrist flip. Focus on the keeping the racket sideways. There, much better. And we'll do one more. Okay, not bad. All right, let's hit. <laughs> let's see how you do. Um, what time is it? 55. 55, yeah. Okay, uh, you stay here. I'll go to the other side. Who use? How am I gonna do this? What do you mean? Stand right here. Stand by the trash. <laughs> it's, a, it's a metaphor for life. Get closer to the trash. I got closer. <laughs> You're funny. I'm very funny. Virgo gang. Ugh. Figured it out. Oh yeah, that works. And I'm still getting paid for this.
Is that your government name? What? All right, let's go. You said you beat everyone. <laughs> ah. Can't trip on these. <laughs> oh my god, you suck, Julius. Let's go, Vicky. Yeah, we got a pro commentator over there. Full swing, full swing. He's the biggest thing the I see with people's backhands, they distrust it. You gotta go. If it fumbles, it fumbles. You just gotta do it. It's your point, he talked during the point. Wow, Julius, rookie mistake. My bad. Julius. Go ahead. Good shot. If it goes that short, you can let it bounce twice, just to keep the rally going. Ah. All right, one more. One more, one more. It's got to be good. You're winning. All right, not bad. That was fun. Back inside, obviously, just we're gonna work on that a lot more. The backhand footwork is very simple, but you have to work harder on it. And then paradoxically, the forehand footwork, there are many options, but they're easy. Um, and again, the backhand, this, this spot is very compact. I'm gonna teach you how to do high backhands in the future, which is also different, but um, oh, excellent, great job.